Would you ever recommend that somebody, let's say you're a junior or a senior and you're graduating college and you have good relationships with some professors, but you want to work for a few years before going back to school and you're thinking of a PhD, is it an idea to ask those professors while you're in college to write a recommendation for you? Because at that point, they remember you and they know you. And in four or five years, they may not. Did anybody ever do that? That's what I did. Yeah. Oh, all right. <laughs> I yeah. I, I asked people on my way out. And I think, I mean, part of it was I was expecting to only take a year off and work in publishing and it turned into five years. But yeah, it, it, and that worked out pretty well because they could basically just update the date. But they had, <laughs> and even if our relationship had faded and they forgotten who I am at the time that they wrote the letter, they knew. <laughs> so, so that was helpful. Um, yeah. But so I would definitely recommend that if you're thinking of taking a gap year, secure those letters before you do. Okay. Great. But I think it's also, it's also in a way um, courteous to do it uh, ahead of time like that, because five years out, your professors will have encountered so many other special students as well. And so to have a letter that has had been guided by common experiences in say, e either an interfolio file, or um, even if some professors will also send you a copy of that letter as a courtesy and that you hold on to it. So when it's time to get back in touch with them again, you make it easier for them to have full, fuller recollection and they'll recognize their own writing where they want to replicate what I said in paragraph two, because, you know, I'm reading it now five years later and I like what I wrote. You know? <laughs> so, <laughs> so. so they actually like that. <laughs>